Hi, my name's Michael Mr. Blackman. I'm from the Brighton Hove Beekeepers. Um, what I'm going to do today is um, do some wax extraction using a homemade um, steam waxer. So what I'm actually doing is I've got this... Um, sorry, what I'm actually doing is I'm going to extract some manky old wax from a brood box. So here's the brood box. You can see the state of that wax. It's just got all mud on it. Stuff has got really mullered and you know, it's got holes in it. Possibly looks like it's had a bit of matte wax off and slug debris. But the way I'm doing it is quite, in, well, not really ingenious. You can buy these kits, but you can make your own one. This is a floor, okay, for, from a Varroa floor. You can buy them online, They're about three pounds each if you buy enough of them. This is an old high, solid high floor with a little gap just here see that little gap there so it's got like a lip all the way around it and a little gap at the front this is another high floor which I use for the roof of the uh, melter and you can see I've drilled a hole in the middle and uh, but, and I had two ratchet straps either side but I'll show you it set up in a second I have some bricks to give some angle got some silver foil down there below which I use for um, catching in the excess wax. I also put a little bread tin down to catch the main bit of wax. But this is my main tool. Here, can you see it? Oh, there you go. That goes in there. Okay, when it's all set up, that'll go in there. But it's linked to a... Pay, uh, not a paint stripper, a wallpaper stripper. So all I've just taken off is the wallpaper attachment and it's that simple. So I'll show you it in work in a second. Okay, so this is it all set up. I've put my um, bread tin down here. This is the mouth to the um, floor. It's an old fashioned wooden floor. So the wax should come there. Just above the top here is the uh, Varroa mesh floor, which will filter the wax. Then you've got the brood box, and you've got the old floor turned upside down, which is why I put the sponge in there, because that's the old entrance. And this is running now, you can see the steamer. You have to be careful, it does come down you. Where are we? You see it steaming steam? Yes, no. Well, you can hear it anyway. So I put the steam in there. See the steamer goes in there. And that's it. That steam will build up. And I've ratcheted it closed, you can see. And it's all nicely sealed. You get a tweeny bit of escape from the side, but this works really well. I have done maybe 50 brood boxes using the current equipment. So it's a really efficient way. It costs me nothing at all. And the other benefit you have is it completely sterilizes. Sorry, I'll hold it there. You may have lost some sound. The other thing it does is it sterilizes the box from inside as well. And it melts the wax completely. And I'd say the efficiency is probably up to 90, 95% of wax melting. And so if you want sterilization and wax melting, it's a brilliant system. Anyway, I'll show you the results in a second. Okay, you can see now that that drop of wax is starting to really drip through. And I literally just leave it now to fill up now, a full brood box with full of comb would probably pretty much fill this container up. It's a standard bread container. This isn't a full brood box, probably just over half full, maybe a few more. So we'll see how we do. You can see, just leave it to it. Give it 15 minutes and we'll see what we do. I've um, finished steaming. I actually added a bit more, so I've filled up a complete bread container with wax, which will dry in a second. And um, what you end up with inside the hive is this kind of stuff, it's from the comb. Um, which is basically the shells from the cocoons and stuff that forms the structure of the comb in the end. Um, okay, um, and the recording wires have gone out, squee with, I was thing, covering so up the mic. Good. So uh, um, just to let you know, that you, so you can take the wires out which is great. Um, also I use my plastic scraper to clean up the frames as quickly as possible after heating because they're really easy to clean then and it saves you having to scrape with a um, chisel or something like that. It's really easy to get off. Um, and also you can compost the arisings which is great, they make good compost. But if you want cleaner wax, I tend to boil my uh, arisings uh, in rainwater and this is what you get and you get really lovely pure wax. And I tend to exchange my wax for um, foundation um, just because I just find that's just easy for me to do. I don't make my own foundation at all. Um, um, and if you want to sterilise your box on the outside, I tend to do that with a um, flame for it. Um, 
Um, I'm also going to try using a solo axe uh, melter, which I've just had made. So keep your eye out uh, for the next uh, video, and I'll show you my solo axe melter. All right, bye.